Hey everybody, Jillian here. Welcome back to my channel for a brand new hymnal art journaling process video. So I haven't really done an entry in this guy since maybe December. I wanted to show you a couple of those entries in here and I think I have a few process videos if you want to see more in my hymnal but what's new since last time is this beautiful cover that my friend Kristen custom made for me it is as snug as a bug in a rug and it's oh, so well made so soft I just want to put this guy on everything so I am going to be doing my last entry in the this is love devotional kit from illustrated faith in day spring and I'm going to be journaling in the hymn such love so just giving you a peek at the cover here um, I don't think Kristen is taking custom orders in her Etsy shop any longer but I will leave her Instagram handle at the bottom of the screen if you guys want to go check her out maybe sweet talk her into getting that back up again but uh, for today's entry I'm going to kind of mimic the look on this card I am gonna switch up mediums and not use acrylic paint well I'll use white acrylic paint but I'm gonna use some Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons in um, ochre pink and purple I think the colors are to kind of mimic the look on that card. There's no devotional content on there. The verse in 1 Thessalonians is it, but I want to go ahead and journal, you know, kind of what I get from that verse here in this hymn using some of these supplies. So that's about it. I'm so excited to be back in the hymnal and I'm going to go ahead and get started now. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is put some white acrylic paint on the page. So I really like doing this with Neo Colors. I don't ever use gesso, and this is as much as I'll ever prep a page. It's just putting down some white acrylic paint. So it kind of tones down the music notes and things like that on the page, and it just it makes the Neo Colors seem like more pigmented to me. I could be totally off base on that, but I'm fine with it. <laughs> so I got super messy with the acrylic paint there, and it totally like went on like maybe 50 pages back along the top so anyway I just applied that with the baby wipe you could use the card swiping technique your fingers whatever you have but I like using a wet baby wipe baby wipe because the paint is a bit more translucent that way so I'm gonna hit that with my heat tool and make sure it is totally 100% dry before I put anything else on there so the Neo Color 2 crayons I've seen used like this. I've actually been like checking out more ways to use them, but one of my favorite things about them is when you scribble them like this and then you put water over them because they do react with water is you don't see the original scribble mark, which is my favorite thing ever. So I just have a huge paintbrush um, that I'm gonna dip in water here and I'm gonna move the color around. And so you can see that you can actually go ahead and put the crayon into the water and it just, melts onto the page. It's so nice. They are more expensive than um, other art supplies like this, but I think that the expense is worth the quality that you get. And I um, actually purchased them a la carte individually in colors that I know I'm going to use and love and that match things that I already have, like maybe this, like this devotional kit for instance. Um, and just buy them here and there. I will link my favorite store for that down in the video description below and um, where you can just buy either the set of like 10 or 75 or 250 or whatever it is or you can buy them individually um, but, but like they can be expensive so if you were to buy like a set of 75 having never used them um, that is quite an investment so I just started buying them individually just to see how I liked them and how I would use them so I think I'm up to like maybe 15 now and, and I'm a, a huge fan so um, you can see that when I, I just put a ton of water on the page and it's going to take me a really long time to dry this. I'm just using a craft heat tool that I'll, I'll go ahead and link if you guys want to check that out too. It's really cool but it does get really really hot so like don't put your hand under it. <laughs> so I ended up um, just getting the page dry eventually and you can see I left some of the white paint showing which I really really like and it's just a nice soft background to work on. So maybe if you're hesitant about covering the words in your journaling Bible, a hymnal might be a great place for you to get your feet wet or just work in forever <laughs> if covering words is an issue for you. Or of course you could just keep it in the margin of your journaling Bible. So I'm going to use some of the brand new tiny colorful alpha stickers here. These are brand new to the Illustrated Faith Basics line and I really wanted the title to be such great love but wanted to keep the colors on here to pinks and yellows and so that teal sticker up at the top left was not gonna work 
So I'm going to go ahead and get the stickers down and then kind of build from there. So my title is going to be in the bottom left here. These stickers are also transparent, which is kind of cool. And then I'm just going to kind of build this cluster here. I like to, I maybe should have put the sticker down first. These are the cardstock stickers from the UR Left collection. I kind of like to make, when I do clusters, like make them touch and connect and overlap. And so I kind of wish I had put the sticker down first and then kind of stamped on the edge of it a little bit. And you can see I put that pink letter T on top of the sticker. So kind of like they're all touching and it looks intentional and not like they're just sitting there next to each other, <laughs> having nothing to do with one another. So when I'm working in the hymnal, um, I like to, of course, put things down in threes, just like I do in my Bible. But if I'm working in one corner, let's say the bottom left, I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing in a smaller scale up on the top right. So you'll see another floral cluster start at the top right of the page. But first I want to get down kind of like a background element, and I'm going to use these, um, they're, they're like art marks almost, from the new clear stamp set from the All People, All Nations collection. So just like I said, whatever I do at the bottom left, I'm going to do at the top right. And so I'm getting those background elements down before I put more stickers um, up at the top right. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to layer something under the sticker. Um, I don't want it to be larger than the title piece down at the bottom, which is what is happening with that loved sticker. So <laughs> just trying some things out, putting them down, picking them up. This is kind of fun for me and is really part of the process that I enjoy. So I have this really old washi sticker booklet from the UR Loved collection, um, and I ha don't see many people use it. So I haven't used it a lot, but I really like that there are some transparent washi included in this booklet, like this, uh, the X's and O's here. And so because it's like I'm on transparent washi, it almost looks like it's I stamped it on the page, which is really cool. So again, putting it at the top, moving it down to the bottom, and looking to see if there are any other elements like these hearts in here that I may want to use. But I really want to like limit the number of motifs on the page so I've already got flowers now I've got X's and O's I didn't really want to bring in a heart because um, I just felt like they would all be competing you know so then what I'm gonna do is a little more um, I'm going to do a little more stamping to make the background a bit more interesting, and I haven't been using these hexi stamps from the This Is Love kit a ton, and I want to uh, change that right now. So I'm going to use this um, like golden yellow ink. I've got a similar one linked in the video description below. It's a chalk ink, um, and this one is a pigment. And not everyone loves pigment inks, which I totally get. A chalk ink will dry faster, but it still shouldn't bleed through your Bible pages or your hymnal pages or whatever. So I just did some tone-on-tone -tone stamping. I doubt you can even see it on camera here, but um, just wanted to make the background a bit more interesting. And then wanted to tone down some of the color on the page, so I'm going back in with um, a baby with some white acrylic paint on a baby wipe. So this is just super fun and relaxing and a great way to like meditate on this verse in 1 Thessalonians. And I love the lyrics in this hymn, especially the last line where it says, And now he takes me to his heart a son or daughter. He asks me not to fill a servant's place. The far off country wanderings are all done. Wide open are his arms of grace. Such love, such wondrous love, such love, such wondrous love. And I just thought that was a beautiful hymn to put, to put my entry on and to journal a little bit. And so I just kind of rested my journaling on top of those, uh, around that cluster on the bottom by my title. And then off camera, I ended up going back and writing a little portion of 1 Thessalonians 1 4 up at the top, just to reference that's what I was. Um, thinking about as I was creating the page and that's gonna do it so here's a couple of uh, close-ups for you guys to check out my entry if you have any questions feel free feel free to leave me a comment below and be sure to check back on Wednesday for a brand new Bible journaling process video and another something fun that I think you'll be interested in so I hope you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon